there are a lot of manga sites out there. The problem is, not all of us has the tools to access these sites. Not all of us has a laptop or a personal computer at home. But what most of us have is our cell phones. Although one would argue that a phone is enough to access these manga sites. Just open Chrome and type your favorite manga site and search for the said manga that you wanted to read and voila, easy peasy. But is it though? Because that sounded like a lot of clicking and searching and a whole lot of pop-up ads to the point where it distracts you and takes you out of the immersion. Our solution? Mobile apps. If you search for manga reading apps on Google Play or Play Store, you'll find a shit ton of them. I personally tried some of them and they're shit most of the time. Almost all of them have small library, limited download spots, and a fuck ton of ads. If you remember a few years ago, there is this manga reading app that everyone is using. It's called Manga Rock, and it was an amazing app. It had the biggest library of manga titles, unlimited download capacity, and no ads. It was the perfect manga reading app but unfortunately, the developers decided to shut down the site. Nowadays, the only good manga reading app that is free is the Shonen Jump app and Manga Plus by Shueisha but even these apps are only limited to Shonen Jump and Shueisha titles. But of course, not all hope has been lost yet because there is one manga reading app that can satisfy your manga needs. Tachiyomi is a free and open source manga reader for Android and it is undoubtedly the best manga reading app out there. It has all the features of a great manga reading app. It has the biggest library of manga titles bar none because of its open source aspect. It has unlimited download spots, there are no pop-up ads whatsoever, and most of all, it's free. Tachiyomi is not on Google Play or Play Store though, so you'll need to download the app on their official site, which I will be putting in the description below so you can check it out there. Now that you've installed the app, let me help you to set it up because it can be quite tricky for some users. If you open the app, this is the first thing that you'll see. This is your library. Obviously, you still don't have any manga in here because you haven't bookmarked any but we will go there. But for now, let us first download your extensions because that will be your primary way of searching for mangas to read. What you want to do is click the browse button and click extensions and you'll see multiple extensions here from manga here, manga park, and even enhentai. Pick an extension that you like and install it. But if you're struggling to find an extension, I recommend these four extensions that I personally use. For reading manga, I installed Manga C, Manga Dex, and Manga Park. I have these three because, for example, I'm searching for a specific manga and I can find it on Manga C. That's not a problem because I still have a backup extension with Manga Dex and Manga Park to search for. And I use the Read Manual extension if I want to read a manhwa. And that is the for extension that I personally recommend. Now that we have the extensions, it's time to search for the mangas that we want to read. From the browse tab, click sources and there you'll see all the extensions that you installed. Let's visit Manga C for example. Hey, you read One Piece, right? Then you should add that to your library. You also read solo leveling, right? Add it also to your library. And you get the gist of it. After you add all the manga that you want to read on your library, go back to the library tab and there you'll see all the mangas you added. If you want to read them offline, you can download it. Long press a chapter and click the download button. If you want to select all, again, long press on a random chapter and click this button and then download. If you want to see your ongoing downloads, click more and download queue. You can also tweak the app in the settings. If it's too bright, then click the dark mode. If you want it to be organized, you can do so by clicking the categories tab. Here you can add folders for your mangas. For example, you just finished a manga and want to place it somewhere else. Just add a folder and label it done or something and place your finished mangas in there. How you ask me? Just go to the manga that you finish and unclick the in library and add it again. 
but this time, click the Done folder and press OK. For context, this here is my own Tachiyomi app. As you can see, I have many mangas in my library because I read a lot of mangas. And if you'll just turn your focus in this section for a second, you'll see that I have a lot of categories in here. I have a separate folder for manuas, pornuas because why not, some mangas that I read that are on hiatus or break, and my finished mangas. I'm also on dark mode because white is too bright for me. You can also see my extensions here and my reading history. And lastly, if you want to update your manga so you can read its latest chapters, just swipe it down and it will automatically refresh. Oh, and also, you might want to download a backup file. In the settings, click Backup and Create Backup. This way, you can restore all the works that you did if they get deleted or the app is uninstalled. And now, you can freely read all the mangas that you want to read. But here's a quick reminder. If you have the money and you can buy a physical copy of the mangas that you want to read, then please do so. That way, you can support the mangakas and the industry. But for all you bro peeps out there like me, use Tachiyomi. And that's it for me for now. I'm the villain in glasses, and enjoy reading. Bye!